Uh, so I'm Dr. Stephen Minger. I'm a scientist with a, 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 an interest in uh, applications of cells and gene therapy to, to human healthcare. Um, I think the big challenge for us at the moment is that although we have uh, cell and gene-based therapies that are showing great impact in clinical trials, one of the biggest challenges is that these therapies are extremely expensive, uh, perhaps anywhere from half a million to a million dollars per patient. And in order to really see these therapies roll out uh, across a number of different disease states, it's going to be imperative for us to drastically reduce the cost of manufacturing cell and gene-based therapies to make these more readily available to everyone worldwide, but also at the same time to expand these therapies into um, away from more orphan diseases to more clinically relevant large-scale diseases. Um, we have very good evidence now that gene and cell-based therapies in many cases can be curative for life, but the costs are just too high at the moment. And delivering these to large, large numbers of patients currently is very, very, very difficult. So it's going to mean that we're going to have to get very large corporations who have the ability to automate these, use robotics, use synthetic intelligence and other technologies to impact on the manufacturing process to reduce the cost and to make these more available. I think that's really the big challenge, but it's also a tremendous opportunity, particularly for diseases for which we have uh, currently almost no therapies available, Parkinson's disease, cancer and others. Yeah.